VP Water Cooler, episode number 360. 360. Um, let's see here. Today's topic we're going to full circle. Yeah, full circle. Oh, I get it. I get it. Three. I get, get it. it. Get it. Yes. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about the quick way to sell um, sell things online using WordPress. Oh, we've we talked about using WordPress. Oh, wait, I thought it was the, just telling the, you. The, the, I was going to say the quick way. The quick yeah. way. Uh, yeah, quick ways to do it. Before we All do right, that, I'm, let's talk I'm about out. ServerPress, makers of desktop <laughs> server. They make local WordPress development easy. Go check them out over at serverpress.com. Um, they've been doing some fun stuff over there with their WP SiteSync product, which works great with it's awesome. and without. Uh, it's with, awesome. Without There's server a little press. bit of drool on your face, Steve, right here. You're going to get that. <laughs> it's good stuff. So check Am them out. Am I good? You're good. You're good. <laughs> So let's go around the room real quick, get everyone introduced. Mr. Cosper, how about you? Tell us about yourself. Well, hey, I want to wish everyone a, a happy 360. Happy 360! Oh! He just, he just did a turnaround. Happy 360! Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, this is that guy Jason came to Cosper, party. a.k.a. Wow. Fat Mullenweg, just here to talk some WordPress, talk some quick ways to sell shit. Let's get into it. <laughs> nice. You're presenting the man bun up in here. Russ, mm -hmm. how about you? Tell us about yourself. Yo, what's up? I'm Russell Aaron. I'm in Las Vegas. And, you know, I, I'm with Steve. I thought, you know, we were talking about holding the sign on the side of the freeway that says buy something. Like, you know, I was going <laughs> to sell roses. That, that, that was my advice. So I don't think I'm fit here. But hey, everybody, how's it going? Say, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <sighs> how about you? Tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Say Reed, and I make WordPress, teach WordPress, preach WordPress. Uh, at Say Reed Media on all the things. That's all I have to say today. Did you sing that last part of it? On all the things. Mm -hmm. On all the things. Because <laughs> mm -mm -mm. we're on jingle. That's awesome. <laughs> Actually, that verged that verged really closely to the Little Mermaid song. <laughs> it did. It kind of did. <laughs> well, you know, I know somebody's been watching some cartoons lately. <laughs> Steve, how about you? Tell us about yourself. I'm Steve Zengit. I'm the founder of Zeke Interactive, and I run the OC WordPress meetup. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yada, yada, yada. <laughs> uh, I'm Jason Tucker. <laughs> you can follow him on jasontucker.us and WP Watercooler. Hey, we're on Patreon, Jason Tucker. Can you tell us about Patreon? We are on Patreon. I, on I Patreon? Why do I find this stuff out on the air? What is hey, that's why you're the best. Because it's fun. That's the way I, that's the way you, you know, that's the way you got to do it. But yeah, we are on Patreon. You can go to our uh, website over at patreon.com slash WP water cooler. Um, I did, uh, I did a fun thing with that. I actually named everything based off of Dude, water type of things. So, so it's good. like small water cup, medium water cup, large water cup. I have, uh, I have a, a, a water bottle. Water -based things as they are sizes of water cups yeah because it is oh because Cheers. it's a water cooler and the, like our logo has a big jug so it, like sure of course. <laughs> maybe, maybe i'm thinking dixie cup solo cup oh big i didn't want to oh, do that no he, we don't have the trademark to use dixie cup no. and solo it's fine. Cup. it's fine you don't have to ask me for any creative input it's not like anything where i can help with that it's fine but yeah Go, it's go not like a we're look. a small business with a website that needs help, you know. It's... Wait, I want to know what are our rewards? Oh, I'm looking what? at it. We've got tears and everything. Do you we have to over, check them out? Head you, over to patreon.com. Say, say, say you haven't received your paycheck yet? From, uh... <laughs> no. Also, I'm oh, like, wait, I mean, I mean, I'm still trying to pay oh, sorry, Jason. To use to make this thing happen, guys. <laughs> hey, are you, that's how Patreon works. Steve, you, did you, you get direct deposit yet? Or are you still cash and paper? Like, you know, <laughs> I'm waiting for I'm waiting for a direct deposit over here. No, no, Jason, Jason pays me under the table. Oh. I asked I, uh, for Bitcoin. I'm just <laughs> expecting to read these pledges and to see it be uh like say will do X. Yeah, it says that. <laughs> cool. I was wondering when it would come yeah. what I was gonna have to do for this. Yeah, you'll, you'll do well, we'll tell you later. Maybe. How loyal okay. are you, Say? How loyal <laughs> are you? How far are you willing to go? All right. So now that I've sold ourselves, let's talk about uh, selling the uh, selling stuff online for cheap. What a segue! I guess what you can just segue. sign up for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let, let's let's kind of discuss this. So to give you a little bit of a, a point of reference, you know, a lot of you folks um, work intimately with um, e-commerce solutions, WooCommerce, Big Commerce, Large Commerce, Small Commerce, like all of those things. I want to talk Sideways about the e-commerce. Yeah, I want to talk about the teeny tiny commerce. I want to talk about like you know, I have like a T-shirt I want to sell or a hat I, I want to sell. 
use I use Sharknado sticker. Commerce. Do you use Sharknado <laughs> Commerce? <laughs> I use Sharknado Ipsum. That's it. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, you, you got you have some product that you're trying to sell, and you want to sell it. You don't want to build up this whole crazy huge thing. You just need to to quickly sell it. What are some solutions that people could do in order to be able to do that? Should we just rattle this off real quick and then be done and go drink? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it is good. Peace. I know a bar. I know a bar in Vegas that can handle a lot of the drinking that you just described. So I'm down. Um, so I can I can start us yeah. off. So one of them that um, that I've used in the past would be uh, Gravity Forms. So if you need yeah. to sell just like one or two items, something like that, it gives you a total. You can tie it into PayPal and then be able to sell it. You can do something like that. That would you can be go in, probably. You can go into well, so, Stripe. You can go into to uh, a merchant ACF. Like they have a lot of add-ons. So whatever it is, how you take money, whether it's a business or you want to set up a PayPal kind of thing, you know, they do have an extension for that. If you're selling <laughs> one I, thing, loading that shit on there is going to be a pricey. You better be selling uh, a lot of that one thing. I yeah, and I was going to say. So the, I think the difference here, what we're talking about, is is items that don't require a shopping cart, right? That's that's what yeah. we're talking about, right? That's the yeah, distinction, yeah. right? So if you don't doesn't require a shopping cart, the solution you're talking about, Jason, is perfect, right? You just got yeah. one one or two things, right? Products, downloads, right? An ebook, something like that. Technically, that forms requires a shopping cart. It's just a matter of if you want your client to be able to purchase multiple, fit your customer in this case, to be able to pull, purchase multiple things at once. I mean, I, I mean, I'm using the gravity form thing as we talk. Like I'm doing things where I'm offering my time for a small amount and I have a gravity form that I send people to and they're just sending it via PayPal. A really you know, small like, amount. I'm offended by your price point. I'm, I'm not even, price. I'm not even helping. Like I'm not like physically coding. Like I'm just talking about it. It's just, you know, helping people get started. No, what's, and, what, and, still yeah, too what's, low. What's say is, say, yeah, it, I agree. I saw it as well. It's too low. Russ. I was too like, low. Ten dollars. Raise, your, 30 raise your prices. Raise your prices. If anything, fuck. now they just, now they just drop by ten percent. Hey, a they, minute. thanks for you. Use my coupon code called Zeke at, at a checkout. Bucket, a bucket, off. A bucket, a, yeah. Well, if you apply, if you enter the coupon code Zeke, it's the price is going up. Yeah, don't do that. This is a good example here. So, like for instance, the type of thing we're talking about here probably doesn't have an affiliate link set up tied into this. Like, this nope. is where it's like. I want to go to the website. I want to buy a thing and I want to have it. I just didn't want to sign up for Calendarly or anything where I have to use a service to re to schedule some time. Yeah. If you just want to get with me, I have a, I'm have i capable to put a form on my website and you can book it and we'll go from there. So what else is there? What other things can people use that would do this? You could do a well, donation form. Any, so you could set up so, like a give WP. That could be a thing. So you, but real quick, you talked about gravity forms. All the form plugins have something like this. WP of course, yeah. Ninja forms, right? So your form plugin doesn't matter all that much as long as it, as long as it's a, a, a well. Does contact form seven one. do that? I don't I think. Hope so. <laughs> I sure hope not. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was just saying. Maybe, there are, maybe your mileage varies. I, I was. I was. I was talking about the premium form plugins. BT yeah. Dubs, there was a security issue with Contact Form Seven over the past couple weeks. Not. Not that what? I. What? Yeah. Say what? <laughs> no, 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 say like, what? Obviously, yeah, we have a section on this show weeks. called "Say What." Oh my god! It's, it's, it's a terrible plugin. It's like from like 2000. No, it's like from like 1990, 1988. I don't know what year it was a long time ago. Um, and it's terrible. However, I still have some legacy um, site client sites where we're trying to get to the point where we're able to do the, the turnover of a new site and. Um, uh, they were recently compromised, at, re really compromised, as opposed to just you know mildly compromised, as it has been for the past ten years. So um, mildly compromised, mildly compromised. There's a difference. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you could so, go just straight up PayPal and and put a PayPal link on there and and directly go to there. You know, it it takes. They they're gonna take a small percentage of every transaction. That's just how everything online rolls. Um, so everything's I, gonna I take actually, a yeah. percentage. I yeah. actually think it's it's important to, to talk about that piece of it, right? So yeah, we, we yeah. talked about gravity forms, but you still need a payment processor, right? You you need to have yeah. Stripe or PayPal or authorized.net. But you know, one Don't of those that. yeah, but one of those systems you have to have that to take the transactions, and then you need a bank account, right? And I mentioned that because a lot of people think, oh, you set up Stripe, right? Yeah. No, you need a bank account yeah. to actually get the money into, right? And I know that sounds crazy, 
right? But I have clients that just come to me and they say, yeah, we've got Stripe set up. Even if no you have Bitcoin on the other end, <laughs> even if you have Bitcoin, it still has to be pulled out into whatever yes. monetary bank that you live in, and you have to go get you know whatever it is. Yes, it's true. Yes, I want to I want to follow up on that point that you're making though, Steve, because I think the title of this is like what quick things, right? So even setting up the gravity form to do the PayPal thing, that's actually not in terms of that quick. It may be simple where you're just selling one thing, so simple and quick. Not the same thing in this. So a very, yeah. a very quick way to do this is to set up a PayPal site, right, or a Stripe okay. site, and just link over there, right. Yeah. So you can you can link over to the site. They give you a place to process transactions yeah, without that embedding it into your WordPress site. That's the quickest way. That's the yeah. yeah uh, Square Square will let you do that. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very easily, uh, the uh, a bar in town here that's selling drink kits is just selling their stuff through Square, and it's yeah. it's super simple. They just link, like, okay, we're selling this drink kit, link in bio, and then you go over and you hit the Stripe page, and there you go. Um, Square page, but yes. Yeah, you could also like Square has their um, embed codes that you can use as well to kind of embed mm -hmm. stuff as well if you wanted to do something like that. Yeah, well, and I think so, I think that's important because um, you businesses that haven't been online that are watching this episode need exactly that, right? There, yeah. you don't have to have a lot of technology to do this stuff. A lot of those things are just provided by your existing payment processor, mm -hmm. right? And that's actually something that I think is really underrated because everyone is always like, "Oh, you gotta, ha you want to sell something? Here's Woo," and Woo yeah. is like. Woo is an involved process. Like, Even just the setup Google wizard, Google. I dread. I dread the setup wizard right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You should never load. It's Woo like it's like taking the it. the SITs. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's, um, some, there's some other ones like easy digital download and whatnot, but they're still a little bit involved in terms of of setting. I mean, right. well, there, okay, there's, so there's going to be a there's going to be a barrier to entry. Like, the, you know, you're always going to have to require your ID when you set up for something and you're going to have to set up your bank account. There's time involved with that, you know, and, and I think that that's going to be normal for anything that you use. So let's, so let's talk about WooCommerce because you make a good point here saying that it is difficult to set up, but there are <laughs> options. There are SaaS options that are out there where you don't need to use WooCommerce. You can set up a Shopify site for your store. You said you that with a up, lot of SaaS. I did. You can set up big commerce. There, there's, there's other sites you can set mm -hmm. up and just link to those sites for the store portion of your site. You don't have to have everything self-contained if you, you want to do this even quickly. Just, you could do like Jason Tucker's doing is that Patreon and you could do yes. a monthly thing. Give me $5 a month and then you can call me, you know, between you the hours of three and five. Like, <laughs> you know. Hours, $5 a month. <laughs> Russ just cut his hourly rate in half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, use coupon <laughs> code. No. You have to at least get minimum wage, Russ. Come on, dude. At least minimum wage. You, you know, like <laughs> all I'm doing, all, all I'm really doing is, is I'm offering my WordPress support knowledge and my WordPress knowledge. And I'm taking those little dollars and I'm just dropping them over to cryptocurrency. So that's really what's happening. It's not like I'm funding it <laughs> to like run a is. I'm I mean, just investing that all that in crypto. That really doesn't mean that you should be charging the minimum amount that you are. But that's free okay. so baby free enterprise. <laughs> so um, yeah, call Russ, people. Don't call me because I ain't so charging. So in, in, in <laughs> so in the spirit of being all over the map on this episode, I want to talk about something completely different, right? So yes, with with, oh, with the payment, what? there's a, with the payment processors, you need to be careful about what you're selling. Right, and so not not all things that you're selling are created equally, and so the payment Can't processors, payment processors have specific guidelines as to what you can sell and what you can't sell, and each payment processor is a little bit different. And so depending on what you're selling, you may want to be careful, and you really need to read up on that because your payment processor may just block you. Right, so you may yeah. go through every, all the steps that we're telling you. And your payment processor may shut you down on day one because you're selling something that's questionable. I mean, so yeah. you need to be careful with things like pharmaceuticals, CBD, right? Um, certain certain types of of um, of services, adult, right? Ad adult entertainment objects, yeah, for sure. Like that, uh, that was a big thing I, I for a while. When, it, when in Vegas, you and, know, and I, I have I, clients I, here actually, in Vegas that that have that happen. Like they were not able to use PayPal because that was the thing. We had to switch over to Stripe. Well, and I actually wasn't, I, w I actually honestly wasn't going there, Russ, but since since you brought it up, it's actually up to the payment processor to deter to determine what you're, if what you're doing is questionable, right? Well, so no, you, may, 
you may be yeah. you may have something that is adult they're adjacent. Gonna, they're going to right? deem it essential and, or non essential, and and they they it's all subjective. They may just shut you down because they determined you violated their yeah. terms of service. So yeah. I just want you, I want everybody to be careful about that. You, you know, um, and th that's not a bad thing because there was a service that we saw online a while ago that was trying to fund like um, uh, negative rallies and stuff. And so PayPal stepped in and shut well, those down. So I'm, I'm all for those kind of rules. You know, well, that's something and, that that they want to and, and, they want so, to help. And so the med the medical space is under scrutiny because I and I've got a lot of requests for people wanting to sell PPE equipment, testing yeah. kits, things like that. The payment processor, so the payment processor will just shut you down, right? If yeah. you start selling that kind of stuff online. Well, yeah, I mean, even uh, even selling on Amazon and stuff, you're getting shut down at that point right now. Absolutely. They're like, even, nah, so, well. but I'm, what, I'm, what the point I'm making is just going and setting up a WordPress site to try to do this yourself, right? It, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. There uh, are people there are people in this space that have pushed those boundaries. I remember when you couldn't do anything with CBD and woo and like a few weeks like later now they now you're able to do it. Like, you know, there there is chance for change, but you know, I would read those little fine lines. Just be careful. <laughs> um, I want to go full circle back to where we were before. 360, 360 baby. 360 yeah. baby. Um, <laughs> and talk about the payment processors again because I um, I've had the typical ones I use, but recently I set up, a, um, uh, helped a client set up a thing for buying tickets uh, because they're doing live web events because mm -hmm. they can't go on tour. And uh, we used a new plugin that I actually really liked. And uh, it was so lightweight and easy. And they were like, oh, well, let's switch over to WooCommerce. And I was like, actually, let's switch the rest of your stuff over to this plugin because we had had this plan to introduce WooCommerce. And now I'm like, no, I actually really like this plugin. It's um, it's not to be confused with the Stripe plugin, which uh, I think Cosper was going to talk about, but it's actually called the Stripe Payments plugin, which is, you know, this much different, but it's got a, it's an in-between it's in between Stripe. It's like a third party. It's not from Stripe, but it's really great. Would, would that be by uh, Sandhills Development, say? Uh, it's WP Tips and Tricks. I don't even know. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. right? I was like, where'd you come from? I don't even know who this is. Um, but <laughs> it is, it's super lightweight. So you can, you can actually create a products page and whatnot, but it's, uh, basically a click and buy. So you click the link and you can, you can attach this link to any button or anything. So you can build out your own product page. You don't have to use their embedded product page, even though they have one. And then you can stick that link on any button. And all it does is bring up a the credit card thing. It's like, boom, buy right here. There's no like, nice. oh, I'm putting stuff in a cart and well, it's like an instant buy. And especially for tickets, that's super great. And we have it all hooked up automated to like, you know, MailChimp or whatever. So it sends out all the things. It's really quite beautiful. But the, I just really like the instantaneous of it. You click the button. It's like, here's your information. You click send and you're done. And there's no like second guessing. There's no you know, give us all this information. You can ask for addresses and stuff, but you can totally strip down what you want. Like That's you great. don't have to have anything except for a credit card and make one payment. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's so lightweight. I, I'm, I'm really into it. Steve, I have a question for you. And, okay. and my question is, you know, advising a company, like if they were coming to you today to say, Hey Steve, we have this thing we want to do, you know, would you, would you recommend, one way and then saying when you get to a volume, then we'll switch you to WooCommerce. Like, you, you know, what, what are your thoughts on that as, as saying, use this today, this gets you off the ground, you know, you're making money, you, you know, good is better than perfect. But at the same time, you know, my advice I want to tell people is what's your long run? If this turns into a business, how are you going to migrate, you know, and, 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 and you're my migrate guy. In in a in a normal environment, my advice to my clients is always plan for the long term, right? So let's yeah. build it yeah. right the first time, right? So that we don't have to keep rebuilding, right? Because it may cost you more now. It may cost you more now, but you're going to save money in the long run because we're not going to yeah. rebuild. We're not going to migrate. It's and not so, just money. So, it is. It is. It is so many th reasons. Yes, it's an investment. Yeah, absolutely. beyond just money. In a normal environment, the calls I'm getting today are I need to get up and running in an hour. 
Yeah. Right? Right now. And so, so, so now because it's, it's chaos, everybody needs quick fixes. And so, so my advice has shifted a little bit just temporarily to tell people how to get something up and running, knowing that we may have to migrate later on down the road. And so a lot of the solutions that we're talking about on this call are solutions I'm recommending, or even SaaS, I'm, I'm recommending SaaS products yeah. like Shopify or Big Commerce or other solutions that we may ultimately migrate later. Let's be real though, Shopify and Big Commerce are not quick setups either. They're, like, they're, Shopify they're, no. is not. They're they're not. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying yeah. they're 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 hosted. You you click something and you're you're setting up yeah. stuff right away rather than a full WooCommerce build, right? Yeah, that's, and, that's and, typically and also what I do. Adding hosting and a domain on top yes. of that, setting up email, yeah, all that other stuff, or go click this button and a little bit of money. I, okay, I'm so, not saying that, they're any. Easy, I'm not saying they're any easier you're... from a sorry. If it, I'm just saying Square is the easiest one from that perspective because they yes. really do they spin up the site, you can put in products and you can connect it to in live things later. Like it Square is the easiest in terms of spin up with nothing else attached to it. T totally. Absolutely. Yeah. And, but, and, and, and but for a lot of people who are out selling stuff at markets and things like that who can't go out to these markets anymore, they already have their stuff in Square right. ready nope. to sell. They oh, just yeah, convert it into a product. Yeah. Into a product mm -hmm. that they can sell on their website. And, and, and that's the other thing I was going to say is, is a, to, to just to mirror what Cosper just said, right? A lot of these places have their POS system, Square, Toast, or whatever they're using at, at the place that Square adds toast. something. It's Square Toast, yes, as opposed to Round Toast. No, Toast is just another one. There's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of those POS systems that you see like at a coffee shop, and those those already have a way to process payments. And so what, yeah. what, we're, what I'm seeing is a lot of the shops that are getting creative – are, are just linking over to the pages that are already available to them in their POS system. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so yeah. that's the other thing I'm recommending is, is use, use the tools that you have. Yeah. I or, just or if you didn't it, know that Square has a web space, now go click that button and, you know, whatever you got to do. But you can have a store to, today. Just click a button and it could happen. Not you even didn't know that. I know you guys are giving me like super advice, but I wanted to make a total quip that's not relevant. And you guys were like, over here like saying all these you know relevant things uh but as soon as you said square toast you know what my head said <laughs> it said it was like border radius the border radius on that is a three pixel border radius i was telling jason tucker earlier <laughs> about my that's computer. where my head is <laughs> I was telling Tucker about my computer setter set up earlier and I was describing the padding around like my old Dell yeah. monitors and it was like 40 pixels of padding. Like I was doing the same thing. <laughs> that's um, really funny. Anyway, I to share just, that with you. just that's fine. Just to just to finish off that point, Russ brings up a really good point. And I, I want to make sure that this doesn't get lost in the conversation. And it is about migration. So yeah. if you do anytime you put in a quick fix, right? You need to know that once you're ready to grow or build the real solution, there may be a migration effort. And right now, that's okay. People just need to keep selling. And so that's okay. Just know that that you may you may have to do a, a larger migration down the road. And there honestly, are there are contracts too. There are things that say you might have to use this. Or if you, you know, if you're not sure, like do the do the monthly instead of the annually. That way you can cut ties when you need to, or you know, think so, about the longevity of that kind of stuff. So one of the one of the migration systems I want to mention, I just want to finish this off, one of the migration systems I want to mention. So if you are migrating from one of those systems over to WooCommerce or over to another system, uh, look at a, a site called cart to cart the number two. Um, it, it, it does it it handles those migrations pretty flawlessly. That was the name of my single in the 90s. It was cart to cart. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm off, no, I'm off my soapbox. No, you're not. I, <laughs> no, you, um, I just, I was going to make an actual real comment, not a quip about CSS and my brain. Um, but now I've forgotten it. So my real comment was that if you, it, when you do these quick setups, I actually think, in, you know, even in a normal situation, these can be really helpful because you could be trying to set up the whole big thing. And a lot of clients, even though Steve and I and probably Russ try to get our clients to think about the big picture and the long term, they they can't. They like are stuck. They don't really know what it is they're going to need or what they need and they can't envision it. Like sometimes when you're talking about a website with someone, until you spin something up, they are like, I can't see it. And then you spin something up and yeah. they're like, oh, now I know what I need and I want. So this 
is actually a great opportunity to get some of your stuff up there. And then you can be like, oh, wow, this sold really well and this didn't sell at all. And so I know I need to be able to, and people ask for customizations on this and I wanted to be able to do X, Y, Z. And so by implementing this kind of quick fix solution, you can actually make plans for the long term and the longer migration based off of what you are lacking in that initial mm -hmm. quick setup. Treat it as your proof of concept. Exactly. Exactly. It's like proof of work. And you can also, you know, stay somewhat in business for the next, I don't know, month. Well, hashtag right. employable. <laughs> well, Steve, like you were talking about earlier regarding the POS systems, you know, a lot of these uh, point of sale systems have um, APIs that have integrations that are already being built out on all of these different types of e-commerce solutions. So if you're looking at like um, my point of sale system is taking care of my inventory, then you should be able to look and see can this inventory stuff be tied into something else. And so that that quick solution may just be I need to turn on this one thing, like we we're talking about with Square. If you already have your inventory in there, just have at it. You're you're good to go. Turn on mm -hmm. Square Marketplace, send everybody to that link, and and then you're solid. Then down the road, you can go and say this thing has an API. There's a WordPress plugin for it. I want to now have it live on my WordPress site, and you don't have to do anything extra other than just turn on. Dude, a couple I'm just I'm just trying to go. sell tokens over here, and you're talking about APIs. <laughs> I mean, really there advice. is there is to still be Cost considered for? the the taxes and shipping, which is something you you need to be aware of because if you're just doing yeah. the, right out of That's the whole the box, ride. And, and, you know, you might be like, I don't care how much it costs me to ship, but in the long term, that can really eat into things. In the short term, maybe it's better to sell the thing than it is to worry about how much shipping is going to cost you or adding that on or worrying about if it costs more to send to Kansas or, you know, Maine or whatever. But that is something that really still needs to be considered. And some of these lightweight solutions don't incorporate that. And right. may or may not incorporate taxes, which you are going to have to pay. They're not they're not uh, taking away sales tax at this time. Although that would be a really good idea for stimulus. It just does a point. So uh, something. Yeah, uh, so something that I dropped into chat uh, kind of early in the episode, and we're just kind of getting to now uh, because everyone was going off on their tangents. Uh, there is uh, something, there there is a plugin that's in the repository uh, called Stripe Payments uh, WordPress plugin, WP Simple Pay. It's a mouthful. Uh, the little slug for the plugin uh, is just Stripe. It looks like it might be the official Stripe plugin, but it's not. It's done by Sandhills Development, who does EDD, Affiliate WP, uh, and is just a very simple and easy way to take an item, put it up on your site, and sell it. There's no cart. There's no anything else. It's just one click. And they have an upgradable pro version because, of course, they're great at the uh, the up upsell over at Sandhills. Uh, a, a very uh, nice and affordable pro version as well um, that lets you do things like add coupon codes, add um, stuff like that. So basically, if you want to sell stuff, you're not worried about coupon codes or anything else. Uh, I mean, honestly, from this conversation, I've taken away that maybe doing it with Square and embedding stuff uh, using the iframe is probably the easiest way. Uh, but if you're not comfortable with that and you just and you, you don't already have things in Square, this is a, a good solution too. That one that Say shared, like I'm looking at that one right now, and it looks so like these are both good solutions right it, now, man. It's real nice. Yeah, I've, yeah seen and, the, I've seen that in the past. It's a it's a pretty sweet solution because it just uses a modal to pop up. You type in the stuff, you hit submit, and you're good to go. And and that's and that's really um, I, I don't know the company behind or the the developers behind the one that Say does, but I know Sandhills Development. I know that they're responsible for for EDD for affiliate WP. They do solid good work. So I know that if I trust uh, my sales to this plugin. It'll, it'll probably go well for me. Long term. Yeah. yeah. That's short term. I can't, I can't believe they got slash stripe. Like what a URL, man. They got That's that awesome. early on in the day. Tell me about go it. Pippin. Go Pippin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Well, that's it for today. I want to say thank you very much for all of you for coming and hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Go over to our website over at 
wpwatercooler.com slash subscribe to learn how to subscribe to this content. If you want to uh, become a patron on Patreon, go over to WP Water Cooler's Patreon page at patreon.com slash WP Water Cooler. I'm not doing any of the things he said I would do. No. I got to run though. I've got some square toast waiting for me. <laughs> some square toast with avocado. <laughs>